Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dengar tak suara saya? Dengar medium. Okay, for today we will learn about uh, numerical differentiation. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Boleh tengah, boleh tengah. Oh, terkejut saya. Buat. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, sekarang kita nak belajar numerical differentiation. Okay, numerical differentiation. Previously, we learned about numerical apa differentiation at, uh, in analytically, which is calculus punya differentiation. Itu secara analytic. Analytically, okay. So now as a numerically, okay. Okay, now this is numerical differentiation. Okay, it goes to uh, rate of change dependent variable. Okay, as actually this uh, kind of formula you already seen it because it is the uh, first principle. Actually, the first principle uh, formula for differentiation created from Taylor polynomial. Okay, this is the formula for first order differentiation. Okay, so you can read it. Uh, the derivative of simple continuous function can, such as polynomial and exponential or trigonometric function, can, may be evaluated analytically using calculus. However, if tabulated function, tabulated function is what? It's like a data, which is we have the data and we have the graph. We don't have the equation uh, where value of x and fx are given at a number of discrete points. Okay, as it often the case with experimental or field data, experiment, uh, approximate method must be employed to estimate the derivative. Okay, now if the function f, okay, this is the function f, uh, continuous on interval containing a and x. Then the value of function is given at x is given by, okay, this is the value of a. A ini ialah di mana titik yang kita nak cari tu. And this is the equation of x tu. Okay, yang ni is from the Taylor polynomial yang kita learned previously. Okay, then yang bawah ni is a step size. Step size so apa is h. Step size ni if we are referring to the graph, Step size ni is, ini ialah X0, contohnya ini ialah X1, X2, X3. This is the value of X. H ni apa? H ni ialah selang ni. Selang mesti sama kan? Kalau kita belajar dulu, masa kita belajar buat graph, skala kita mesti sama. If the H is equal to 5, then this will be 5 also. Dia langkah 5 demi 5, betul tak? That's the skala. That's the meaning of H ni. Which mean X yang terdahulu tolak X yang sekarang. Which is X2 tolak X1 ialah 5 contohnya. Then it will equal to out the data. And this is the expressing equation above uh, by using the Taylor series. Okay, this is the Taylor series. Uh, where Rn is equal to Order h power n plus 1. This is where we cut the 
series. Okay, the nomenclature or the H plus one means the truncation error. This is where the truncation involved, meaning that if you only take uh, until Fn and the rest will be the truncation error. Okay, now we can employ Taylor series expansion to derive finite divided different approximation of derivative. Okay. Then we, we develop forward, backward, and center different approximation of first, higher, first and higher derivative. Okay, apa yang dimaksud dengan forward, backward, and center? Okay, dekat sini, forward, backward, and center tu, okay, ingat eh, derivative. If we, uh, if we refer to the first derivative, meaning that we want to find the what? Gradient, right? So, if we have like this, contohnya macam ni kan, ah, uh, Lengkung yang macam ni, if you want to find uh, value at, at x is equal to 2, uh, x is equal to 2, if you want to find the derivative, is up to us whether we want to use forward punya, uh, forward punya information. Forward ni apa? Ialah kita guna dia punya kecerunan satu value yang dekat depan dia. Sekejap eh. Uh, So this is the this is the example of forward, which mean we use the value forward value. Maksudnya kita guna satu yang dekat depan. We, contohnya tiga. So kita cari dia punya uh, first derivative guna forward. And apa yang dimaksudkan dengan backward is it, it is we use the one point behind, which is backward kat situ kat sini. Okay, then. The center difference. Center difference ni macam mana? Which mean kita guna uh, value yang akhir uh, satu maksudnya yang di belakang dan di depan then we refer this as a center point. That's the center. Okay, if we are looking at this, we know already that uh, kalau yang macam ni, kalau center different macam mana dia nak cari center different untuk yang ni? Uh, kita tengok nanti formula eh. Formula dalam uh, numerical differentiation ni formula Provided, so we only want to know whether the question asks about forward, backward, or center. Then you may apply to the related uh, formula. Okay. Any question? Is there any question? Okay, ada kita sambung ya. Okay, this is the finite different approximation of first derivative. Nampak tak? Dia dah bagi. Kita dah dah tahu. Ini ialah formulanya. Okay, this is for first derivative. And um, this is the formula for forward. Uh, okay, we use this kind of formula. Which mean kita guna satu nilai yang awal, X campur H campur di depan, tolak dengan nilai yang sekarang, bahagi dengan H. Then, kita ada backward difference approximation. Backward difference approximation ni, which mean kita guna satu titik yang sebelum. Which mean, macam tadi tu, kita guna titik yang dekat dua. Kita guna satu yang sebelum dua ialah satu. X tolak H je ialah titik satu. Ha, macam ni lah. Sekarang titik yang dua tolak satu bahagi dengan H. H is the step size. And this is the center difference approximation of first derivative. Ni. Ni ialah formula untuk center difference. Nampak tak? Dekat sini center difference ni dia guna... One point, okay, for example, this is the point that we want to find and it use X plus H, satu titik yang dekat depan and one uh, point before, uh, behind and 
this is the one point behind and divided by why is it 2H because of this is first H and this is second H it it dia maksudnya dia melibatkan dua H uh, dua selang uh, compared to forward just now forward contohnya um, macam ni kalau forward kat situ kalau forward contohnya macam ni kita just guna satu titik yang dekat depan and it involve only one H uh, and if you use the one point behind is another H only one H and if we use the center different we use two H here dua selang okay now the example okay nampak tak example ni kat sini kan dia kata use forward backward different approximation okay kalau dia kata forward backward different approximation and center different approximation to estimate the derivative okay this is the equation sebenarnya equation ni kita boleh uh, buat differentiation guna calculus hari tu kan tapi we, are, we want to apply the numerical way okay actually for this kind of questions selalu ni kita bagi macam data macam tu okay if you have question like this equation okay it's okay but the, the important thing that we have to measure here we, we have to take note here is ah uh, okay nampak tak kat sini x dia ialah 0.5 okay now the first derivative of x 0.5 meaning that x dekat sini ialah 0.5 okay and the step size is 0.5 and 0.25 ada dua benda dia suruh kita cari okay now sekarang uh, derivative ni if you want to calculate it uh, directly for differentiation we can get this okay but okay and we use computed the true value okay jadi 0.5 ni kita dah dapat dah the true value dia ialah yang ini then here if you want to apply the numerical by using h sama juga 0.5 okay kita tengok equation ni 0.5 dia punya rumus tu okay untuk forward different eh untuk forward different dekat situ kita perlukan x campur h okay oleh sebab itulah dekat sini x campur h x kita ialah 0.5 h kita ialah 0.5 juga jadi x campur h ialah 1.0 jadi untuk 1.0 ni masukkan di dalam equation asal then we get 0.85 dekat sini. Lepas tu, untuk 0.5 itself, masukkan di dalam equation asal, we get this number. Then, yang ini pula kita guna untuk backward kejap lagi. But for this forward, we only use this two point. X campur X dengan X campur H. Okay, jadi X campur H yang ni, gantikan dekat depan ni, tolak dengan Fx yang kat sini, gantikan yang kat belakang ni bahagi dengan h. Okey, h apa? h ialah 0.5. Then you will get the final answer it is what? Ah, carilah nilai dia berapa kat sini. Okey, boleh cari kot. Dia ialah kat sini ialah 0.85 tolak 0.96875 bahagi dengan satu H, H ialah 0.5 0.5 So you get the the answer is Negative what? Apa eh? Sekejap saya cari Kalau siapa dapat? Ini komen um, Dekat chat pun boleh Dapat tak? Apa?
Okay. Ini dapat berapa? Value ni nanti akan dapat negative value dekat sini. Okay. Then you can find the approximation percent of relative error dia. Masukkan true value. True value ni apa? True value ni ialah daripada nilai ni. Tolak dengan approximation value yang dapat dekat sini. Bahagi dengan true value juga. Yang ni is true value. Time 100. Then you get the percent relative error. Same goes to the Backward different divided different. Kalau back, backward divided different dekat sini. Kan? Backward divided different we use the value here. X tolak H because of this formula involve X tolak H. Jadi dekat sini Fx kita ialah 0.96875 tolak dengan 1.2 bagi dengan H, H apa? H ialah 0.5. Then you can calculate this relative error dekat sini. Okay, berapa nilai ni? Relative error ni nanti masukkan nilai true value. True value tu ialah nilai daripada equation ni menggunakan calculus way. Itulah kosong, negatif 0.3875 ni. Okay, percent relative error dia ialah Negatif 0.38875. Nanti tolak dengan nilai value yang yang kamu kira tadi ni. Letak dekat sini. Bahagi dengan negatif 0.38875. Times 100. Ah, macam tu. Nanti akan dapat persen relative error. Okay. This is for the backward. And if for the center. Also. We use the value of X tolak H, X campur H. Tetapi dekat sini center ni kita guna X 0.25. Okay, kalau kita 0.25, just now our X is 0.5. Kalau 0.25 ialah 0, kat sini 0.75. Dekat sini 0.5 tolak 0.25 ialah 5 tolak. Ini ialah 0.25. Masukkan dalam equation asal tu. F 0.25. Masuk dalam equation asal. So kamu akan dapat value yang ni. Dan Fx tadi boleh guna 0.5 yang kita dapat sebelum ni. And for x plus h because of the new of h 0.25 kat sini. So kita kena calculate again 0.75 tu letak dekat sini. Kan? We have to follow this formula for center divided difference. Okay, for this center divided difference. Okay. Here. For this center divided difference, kamu kena ambil nilai yang X campur H yang kamu dah dapat ni. Tolak dengan X tolak H yang di sini yang tadi. Bahagi dengan 2H. 2H ialah 2 kali H kamu ialah 0.25. 0.25. Faham tak ni? Okey ke? Boleh? Ini memang nak kena tengok ni. Sekejap ya. This is example 1. Okey. This is the question ni. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, YH equal zero point two five. Ah, uh, this is referring to the question. Okay, just now the question asked for. Kat sini kan. 0.25 yang ni. 0.25 kat sini. Kan? H 0.5 and 0.25. Yang ni dia tunjukkan contoh kalau kita cari H 0.5. Nanti dapat kosong dengan 1.0. Lepas tu, uh, kalau untuk H 0.25, untuk uh, forward dengan Backward ni maksudnya kamu kena cari H 
kosong sepatutnya kena ada lagi satu jalan kerja which is H 0.25 dekat sini X tolak H je ialah 0.25 and X ialah 0.5 and X campur H kita ialah 0.75 It different with this. This is by using H 0.5. Yang ni bila kita guna H 0.25. Yang ni ialah H kita. Then you have to find Fx tolak H, Fx, Fx campur H untuk yang ni value ni. Untuk kat sini. Which mean you have to find F 0.25 untuk yang ni. Berapa? Lepas tu F 0.5 untuk yang ni berapa? Then F 0.75 untuk yang ni. Berapa nilai dia? Ha. Boleh nampak tak? Which mean This is by using, kalau dia, dia minta cari forward different by using H 0.5 then you straight away using this value. But if they ask you about forward different using H 0.25 which mean kat sini F prime 0.5 kat sini kamu akan guna value yang ni tau. X campur H yang di sini ialah 0.75 ni. F tapi kena cari eh, masukkan di dalam equation asal. F 0.75 tolak dengan F 0.5 bahagi dengan our H here is not 0.5 anymore. It is 0.25. And this value is F ini ialah 1.0. F1.0 ialah yang ni kan. Tolak dengan X kita ialah F 0.5 bahagi dengan our H here is 0.5. Then replace the value this and this into this formula. And for this kind of calculation, You have to replace yang kat sini. Value yang dekat sini. 0.75 replace here. 0.75, 0.75 dan put it here. Same goes to 0.5. Tapi 0.5 akan dapat nilai yang sama lah yang ni. Kat sini kan. Nanti dia tak dia dekat sini. Okay. Understand the difference of the step size? So question ni kena buat dua kali lah. Satu kali hmm. bagi 0.5. Hmm. Satu kali kepada... 0.25. Betul. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Okay. Then, you you have to relate it back to the formula. Uh, kalau macam forward, dia guna satu point after, right? Uh, then, you referring to the point after is 0.75. But for the backward, uh, backward it uh, involve one point before, behind, right? So, use this formula and for the one point behind untuk formula 0.25 guna F0.25 ni lah. Okay. Tu dia ada dua set jawapan dekat situ. Okay. Nanti kita tengok dekat tutorial eh. Okay. So this kind of question also sepatutnya untuk center ni pun kalau kita nak cari We have to find another set which is H 0.5 also. Ha, kat sini. Tapi 0.5 ni kita boleh guna value yang kita dah dapat yang kat atas tadi. Dia dah kirakan. So masukkan dalam formula yang ini. Okay. Understand? Okay. Then we go to the Uh, high accuracy differentiation formula. Okay, for the high accuracy differentiation formula, it also they give to us the formula. Actually, this is the high accuracy for first derivative untuk forward different. But uh, high accuracy ni meaning what? High accuracy ni dia guna the current point is fx and the other point uh, forward is x plus h and lagi satu titik yang di depan lagi satu. Which mean kalau kita nak cari uh, pembezaan pada dua, kita akan guna kalau H2 sama juga dengan satu, kita akan guna dua, tiga dan empat. Which mean this is Fx dua 
and x plus h ialah fx3 and x plus 2h ialah fx4. Ah maksudnya they use the um, two point after. Ah maksudnya refer to this formula for the forward difference and for the backward difference uh, this is for the forward difference and for the forward difference the formula is this is the formula for the forward uh, backward difference uh, okay meaning that they use one point behind and lagi satu yang terkebelakang macam tu Okay, this is the formula for backward difference. Okay, then this is for the center difference. Okay, high accuracy center. Okay, maksudnya kat sini dia guna dua titik ke hadapan and dua titik di belakang. Okay, and if we get question like this, example two, contohnya eh, example two. Okey, kita ada soalan macam ni. So sekarang dia suruh, okey, kamu nampak tak soalan dia dia dah use high accuracy meaning that we have to refer to the formula for high accuracy to estimate the first derivative. Okey. So sekarang to estimate the first derivative. Okey, bila dia tanya first derivative tapi kita tak tahu. Ah uh, forward ke backward ke center ke. So my my suggestion for you is find forward Cari ketiga-tiga. Forward, backward and center. Ha, cari untuk ketiga-tiga difference tu. And refer to the uh, high accuracy formula. Okay, this is the formula for center and previously nampak tadi yang saya dah ni, ini ialah untuk backward and This is for the forward. Ah, uh, ini pula untuk forward. Okay. So sekarang bila kita tengok soalan, contohnya kita tengok soalan eh. Untuk soalan ni kalau untuk center, saya buat satu contoh untuk center eh. Sekarang kita nak cari x 0.5 meaning that our x ialah 0.5. If we want to find the center formula, Uh, actually the formula you no need to find because it already there this is the formula but what is the point that you want to fulfill into this formula okay look at the 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 question here okay so sekarang it involve x campur h right so f x campur h ha berapa okay lepas tu ada lagi satu f x campur 2H. So sekarang kita kena cari value ni. And we have this. F X tolak H and another one F X tolak 2H. So in order to get the high accuracy for differentiation formula for the center center formula, you have to find this five point uh, to fulfill this formula. Okay. Now Look at the question. Your H is 0.25. Okay, kalau 0.25 and your H ialah 0.5. So, sekarang kat sini ialah F yang kamu kena cari ialah F 0.75, right? Berapa nilai dia? Masukkan dalam equation ini. Masukkan dalam equation ini. Okay, then X campur 2H, campur lagi 0.25 ialah F. 1.0 right. Ah berapa nilai dia? Masukkan 1.0 dalam x kuasa 3 dan x nanti dapat value. Okay. Then for here you have to find also f 0.5. Ah f 0.5 masukkan dalam x ni dapat berapa? Okay. Then x tolak h meaning that you have to find f 0.25. Okey, untuk 0.25 ni cari nilainya berapa? Then x tolak 2h, tolak lagi 0.25 ialah f kosong right? Ah, berapa nilainya? Okey. So sekarang kat situ ada 1 2 3 4 5. Untuk 5 point ni masukkan balik dalam equation ni. 
Okay, yang untuk dua ni kena darabkan dia dengan 8 and H. Our H here. Our H is 0.25. Uh, just fulfill the, uh, uh, fill in the equation for this formula by using the the value that you obtain. Uh, macam tu, masukkan balik. Okay, boleh. It's quite simple. No, don't involve the derivative, but you have to know the h, and you are you are currently at point what x. Ah, macam tu. Nanti kita tengok satu contoh yang guna data macam mana, eh? Boleh. Okay. Doctor, doctor. Hmm. Yang high current, yeah, yang high accuracy formula tu. Dia macam generalize lah, macam standard. Semua, semua question semua guna formula ni. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, uh. So, my advice for you is, for this uh, chapter, you take out the six formula, the important six formula and tampal it uh, dekat kamu punya apa uh, kertas ke mana ke, nanti bila nak exam boleh refer terus. Tak ada nak buka-buka nota dah sebab because of your examination will be online. So you can refer to this, uh, if they don't give you the formula, then you can refer to this formula from your notes. Uh, take out all uh, the uh, formula. Okay. You get okay. Thank you. I mean. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. This is the formula, yeah, the forward different accuracy, the forward different accuracy of order H square. Okay, kat sini. Order H square ni meaning that it is high accuracy. If it is order H only, order H, it is First derivative yang biasa. Okay. Then, this is for the forward different accuracy of order h square. This is the formula. Then, fulfill it. Refer to your question. Just now, question is by using this fx and find all the f 0 0.25, 0.5, 0.75, 0.10 tu. Semua cari. Okay. Then using this formula and this is percent relative error ni is using your true value minus the approximate value yang you get obtain from the forward and divided by true value time 100 and you get the percent relative error. And same goes to the center here. Okay, this is the formula for the finite different approximation of second derivative. Okay, untuk second derivative pun ada. Yang tadi, untuk first derivative, dia ada enam formula yang kamu kena tahu. And no need to remember it. Just uh, note it uh, dekat mana-mana lah. Okay, then this is for the second derivative. Okay, untuk second derivative pun dia ada forward. This is the forward. And this is the backward. And also for the center. And this is for the center. And for the high accuracy also, uh, 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 we have high accuracy for the, okay, for the high accuracy for the second derivative, we only uh, apply the center formula. Uh, kat, kat sini, second derivative. Okay, so all the formula that, get, uh, that we learn today is, okay, for the first, uh, first derivative, Okay, first derivative, okay, it ada forward, backward, and center. And inside the first derivative, we have the high accuracy, right? High accuracy tu kan, maksudnya apa? It using more than one, it using more than one uh, selang. Okay, kalau forward tadi kan guna satu selang. But for the high accuracy, dia guna dua selang ke hadapan. Ah, macam tu. For the high accuracy pun ada forward, backward and center. And for the second derivative, okay, untuk second derivative pun kita ada forward, backward and center and also we have the high accuracy for that. High accuracy for second derivative, okay, for this, uh, apa, for this course, we only apply the center formula. This is for high accuracy for second derivative center only. So, all the formula that we have to take note here is 10. Right. 10 formula dekat situ. And look at your question back. For example, this kind of question. Example 3. Dia cakap apa? Using forward 
backward different approximation of order h square and center different approximation of order h square and h power of 4 of second derivative. Ha, kat situ. Meaning that we have to find the second derivative here. Okay. Then kita kena cari apa? Kita kena cari yang menggunakan equation ni and x 0.5 and h 0.25. So all the point that you need to have here is uh, this all the point. Okay, this is the forward for second derivative and this is backward for second derivative. Macam ni lah maksudnya kamu kena isi dekat bawah ni nanti and for the center for the second derivative. Okay, jom kita tengok. Okay, kat sini kan contohnya uh, kalau ni numerical differentiation using MATLAB nanti kita tengok dekat lab. Lab ni kita kita pergi ke yang MATLAB ni semua kita tengok minggu depan eh. Okay, so sekarang contoh eh, tapi kita tak buat soalan ni guna MATLAB but we want to solve this kind of question using uh, using uh, calculation, right? Okay, so ni ialah contoh data yang kamu ada. Okay, so data yang kamu ada ni contohnya kalau kita tengok soalan ni, dia nak suruh cari forward, backward. Ini siapa yang tengah menulis ni? Saya kan? Bukan ni, macam ni. Anisha, can I love it? Okay, now, this kind of question, they ask you to find forward, backward, bukan uh, MATLAB eh, tapi anggapkan ini soalan biasa, tapi dia bagi data. Kalau macam tadi kan kita dapat equation, 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 but now we are referring to this data. We want to find forward, backward, lepas tu center. Okay, so sekarang untuk forward, backward dengan center ni, dia nak suruh cari pada titik 2.0. Okay, pada titik 2.0, we have to use order H and order H square. Meaning that order H ni ialah forward yang biasa tu. Which mean kita guna H yang satu selang je. Forward yang biasa ialah F X plus H minus F X divided by H. Okay, yang ni titik dia ialah pada F 2.0 kat sini. F. 2.0. Bila kita tengok dekat sini, F2.0 yang ini kan? Okay, untuk F2.0 kita nak selesaikan dia untuk forward. Meaning that forward dia punya value yang ni. Ni ialah 17.1489 tolak dengan Fx kita ialah 14. Point. Okay, nampak tak? Kalau kita ada data yang macam ni, dia lagi mudah betul tak? Tak payah nak buat penggantian sebab dia dah ada dalam jadual betul tak? Bagi dengan what is our H here? Selang ni ialah H ni ialah 2.0 2.1 Meaning that the skala here is 2.1 tolak 2.0 is 0.1 Betul tak? Okay then we get this final answer for forward different at point 2.0 uh, Finish with this Then find it for the backward Backward punya formula ialah F X minus F X tolak H divided by H. Which mean kita guna nilai yang satu behind dekat belakang. Yang nah, inilah. Untuk F prime 2.0. Satu nilai yang sebelum tu ialah 12.7032 tolak dengan satu. Eh yang ni ialah yang ni semua dia tak kat sini. Ha, salah. Ni X tolak H ni kat belakang. Jom. Ini ialah point Satu Dua Then dekat sini uh, Tolak dengan X ni Fx ialah 14.77 14.77 satu Bahagi dengan H H ialah 0.1 Okay dapatlah value untuk backward And for order H square ni Ialah untuk center Because of it involve Dua, dua H right Dua selang kat situ Maksudnya untuk center F X campur H tolak F X tolak H divided by 2 H. Now for the center this is the value kita guna 2.1 yang ini tolak dengan 12.732 bahagi dengan 2 kali 0.1. So dapatlah untuk center. So settle with this 
question if we want to do hand calculation to find the f2.0 untuk forward this is for backward and this is for the center oh, boleh it look like if we have the data it's more simpler than we have the equation yang tadi tu ialah equation tu ialah bila kita tahu equation lah kita kena cari satu titik sebelum jadi kena masuk-masukkan nilai macam tu but if we have this kind of data you have to make sure that the selang tu mesti sama kalau 0.1 0.1 je semua if uh, if there is a person who find forward dia guna 2.2. Bila dia guna forward 2.2 dekat depan, maksudnya H nya is not 0.1 anymore. It is 2.2 tolak 2.0 ialah 0.2. H dia kat sini dia dah kena tukar. Faham tak? Jadi dua-dua titik tu saya boleh terima as a jawapan. And if like this, kalau macam untuk center bila dia guna 2.2, dia kena guna 1.8 because of the skala between this two mesti sama. Okay. Boleh dapat tak apa yang saya cuba sampaikan? So, Dr. Hmm. Bagi center ni kan, dia 2 hmm. H. H kuasa 2. H dia ha -ha. apa? Ha -ha. H dia masih kosong pada satu atau lain? Ah, Kalau kalau kita guna titik yang daripada yang ni dengan yang ni. Oh, so tolak uh, it's still 2.1. Tolak 2.0 tu 0.1. Tak, ah, maksudnya bukan tolak 2.9. Ah. It is uh, selang dia yang ni juga. Ni satu which is 0.1 juga. Oh. Ah, ah. Kenapa guna sama? Sebab because of if we look at uh, kalau kita ada data kalau kat sini dua kan contohnya kan ini ialah 2.1. Ini ialah 1.9 betul? Bila kita ha. dua H kat sini, which mean our data here, it involve only 0.2, right? So, dua H, dua H, 0.2, H is equal to 0.1. It's still 0.1. Oh. Ha, boleh faham okay, tak? Okay, okay, faham, faham. Okay. 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 So, yang untuk hari ni kan dia punya numerical differentiation tu memang kita apply based on the formula. If you know already what formula that we want to use then you are safe already. Ah uh, macam ni kita ada soalan macam ni. Dia dia memang directly ask you about forward, backward and center. Then you fulfill all the question, look at the formula that they want you to refer, then find for the x x plus h, x minus h uh, but this is the, the the equation is sine x. Okay. Untuk sine trigonometry punya calculation before you enter the examination for the numerical please make sure that your calculator in radian mode eh. Tukar dengan radian siap-siap. Tak pun kalau kamu tak ada subjek lain yang menggunakan degree yang tu tukar siap-siap dalam calculator kamu radian mode from, from now, now on until examination the radian mode in your calculator okay nanti kita cuba tengok dalam tutorial okay tutorial minggu hadapan saya ingat kita akan recap balik daripada awal which mean by section method intern repson kita akan ambil satu 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 soalan sebab saya rasa macam Uh, tak ada ke lautnya asalnya student saya ni so, <laughs> macam tu lah saya rasa lah uh, tak tahu lah kalau kamu dah buat ke kamu tak faham ke tapi saya nak tengok each of the method we will, will do uh, all the apa, example from each of the method that we learn until today uh, dalam tutorial minggu depan dan yang lain-lain tu boleh study untuk kamu punya revision boleh buat as an exercise asalkan kamu tahu the flow for the One, one, one question, the flow tu kamu boleh dapat The second, third question according to the uh, same method pun sama je ha, Jadi ni dah boleh jawab, benda tu sama je Okay Okay So, see uh. uh, What does true value mean at number okay. one? Okay, so the true value mean uh, The true value is 0.7 Tujuh satu is here. 
true value for the sine x at at x is equal to pi over 4 which mean y dekat situ ialah y dalam kurungan pi over 4 if we replace it by using your calculator sine pi over 4 then you will get 0.7071 tu ha ni true value tu ada titik ni Eh, bukan. Uh, ni. bukan. Bukan, 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 bukan. Ini maksudnya kamu bezakan Y prime ni dekat pi over 4. Sign bezakan dapat apa? Cos, right? Ah, uh, cos. Ah, then this is the value of cos. Pi over 4. Ah, okay. Ha, ha. This is the true value. Sebab kita ni cari pembezaan ke hadapan, pembezaan ke belakang. So, the true value will be pembezaan also. Okay. Hmm. Itu true value tak? Mm -mm. Bagi bagi yang Y prime. Mm -mm. Betul. Tapi saya cos, cos pi over 4 dapat 0.999. Uh, kejap, uh, Yong, you, 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 you replace it with the radian mode or not? On How do I enable radian mode? Uh? Oh, mode, degree. Oh, radian there. Oh, mode. Ada tak? Angle you need. Oh, radian. Kawan yang you need radian. Ah, uh -huh. ah. Oh, okay, okay. Tak apa, tak. Tak apa, tak apa. Okay. Uh, jangan tukar-tukar eh, sampai panggil exam. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Then... Uh, see you for the tutorial for next week eh. Boleh? Semua orang. Doktor. Uh, maksudnya apa? Esok tak ada tutorial. tutorial. Ha, ha, betul. Uh, bagi both group. Ha, G1, bagi G2. Both group. Ha, ha, G1, G2. Because we have the uh, assignment for community. Uh, group so, ha, group ha. community. Uh, ha, ha. Okay, okay. okay. So, mm -hmm. ada, ada apa attendance ke tak ada? Uh, untuk besok no need kita bincang okay, tutorial yeah. ni minggu depan eh okey 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 okay. thank you thank you